Hey there, it's Waste of Potential 616 uh, back again. Um, with an another comic review and um, a few more comments. Um, basically, I'm actually going to the comic shop tomorrow to pick up some new comics. I don't have any new ones at the moment, but I just I did want to talk about um, this hardcover that I got. Can you, can you see that? It's a Marvel Superhero Secret Wars. And um, I am. Um, I got this um, the other day, and um, I mean, it's going to be a mixed review um, if you um, take into context the price. Now, I was very lucky, I got this for half price, um, it was still um, £40, which is actually a, very, a lot of money, at least it's very lot of money to me, um, but it was reduced from um, 70 or 75 I mean, I'm looking on the back here and um, just you know, the original price, I mean, it's, it's like a hundred dollars, originally, well, 99, 95, so I probably wouldn't have bought it um, for the original price, because that's far too much money, and uh, um, I could probably get up to a lot of fun with that amount of money, let's just say, you know, uh, well, couldn't we all, <laughs> but um, I've been wanting to read this story for a very long time. Uh, I mean, it's the first big Marvel event, you know, and as a Marvel Comics fan, you know, I should have read this a long time ago, but I just never got around to it. Um, now, it's, it's, it's a mixed bag, it really is. Um, you know, I mean, uh, you know, Jim Shooter, the... Uh, you know, he's a big editor of Marvel, I had a big hand to play, and he did um, the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War and all those things. He did a lot of the cosmic stuff that went on in, in Marvel, um, but this was the first big one. Now, um, it's, it's, it's from the 1980s, and it has that um, kind of... Um, classic Marvel feel to it, you know, it almost feels like a, a late 60s, early 70s comic, you know, it has that kind of Marvel tradition to it, um, you know, characters announcing things, and um, I mean, Doctor Doom, the king of announcing things, is a key character in it, and, and written very well, but, you know, as I say, when I talk about these sort of classic comics, um, you know, and explain that sounding patronising. Um, you have to sort of take some stuff with a pinch of salt. There's a lot of cliches in here. Um, there's a lot of sort of wooden dialogue. Um, but that's kind of the way things work. But the overall story is amazing. Um, I mean, the fact of the matter is, which he explained in this trade, it, this was all brought together. This whole storyline was brought together for um, a toy line. You know, um, but it's it's a very entertaining read. It's a storyline where um, we get to see the, the, the black costume of Spider-Man for the first time. Um, you know, Doom, Doctor Doom, gets the power of a god, um, but it's not as simple as you think. You know, I mean, Do Doctor Doom. I mean, I always love the character. And he's written so well in this. You know, um, I mean, this is overall a very fun read. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to um, new comic book fans. I'd recommend this to sort of old comic book fans. You know, I mean, if you're used to the um, the old Marvel style of writing, you know, you'll enjoy it. Because I think new readers will probably think, oh, this is a bit cheesy and whatnot. But you have to look past that to get the the goodness. You know. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy this. It's real classic Marvel stuff. Um, you know, the artwork's great. Uh, you know, really classic stuff. I mean, you know, um, it'd be great if like you know Steve Ditko, you know, was doing it and Jack Kirby. Um, but that was this is past their their time. Um, um, but you know, I really enjoyed it. I could go through the names and whatnot, but. Um, I just this was a really enjoyable read, and it was worth the money. Um, 
you get the original 12 series and, and uh, issues in this, and you get some backup stories. There's a Thor um, issue, which basically recaps a lot of what happens with Thor in this instance. Okay. Um, there's a She-Hulk issue, which sort of has the origin of a character that first appeared in the storyline, which was a lot of fun. And uh, a mediocre what if it was okay, but it was just, just so nice to read this story after such a long time. You know, it, it wasn't perfect. It was the first big Marvel blockbuster, and I finally read it, so it's really cool. And also, like, you can't see this that well, but look at that. Alex Ross. Um, version of the original f first issue cover. Just beautiful. I love uh, Alex Ross's stuff, I really do. And it's quite a rare thing to see him draw Wolverine, so, well, illustrating Wolverine, so it's always a pleasure to see. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to sort of say this briefly. And also, um, I don't know, it's been weird this evening. You know, went out, did my thing, been working, blah, 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 but we had some little odd conversations on YouTube and, and uh, whatnot, and just it's been really nice. A lot of people making kind comments, um, like um, uh, you know the whole uh, ghost critic and uh, amazingly so. Um, what's that? Um, like um, 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 yeah, some nice comments and. Um, um, Alan Heimberg um, sent me uh, a, a comment which was very kind. He's the uh, writer of um, uh, Avengers. Um, I always want to say Young Avengers, but it's not. It's starring the Young Avengers. It's um, Avengers: The Children's Crusade, and uh, he left me some nice comments because I've commented on his um, stuff um, recently. Can't wait for the next issue. But yeah, you know, so it's very kind. Um, but yeah. YouTubers, comic fans, look after yourselves. And I'll be going to the comic shop tomorrow, so I should be getting some new comics. Probably won't do a review tomorrow. I've got I'm quite busy tomorrow. I've got things to do. Got to see my girly. So, um, but, um, but anyway, yeah. Just happy New Year, everyone. And look after yourselves. So, bye.